Welcome back. It's the investor guy. Believing in ourselves, empowering ourselves. That is the mission. CCI TV. Check it out in the description. You should have that app on your phone. You should be watching it on your uh, TV device like Roku, uh, iPhone TV, uh, Android, you know, whatever TV you have. You should be checking this out. Empowering yourself as an investment that is always going to pay dividends. Now, in this video today, how to research stocks for free with Yahoo Finance. All right. So consider it my mission in this video right here right now i'm going to uh you know show you this right if you're new to investing and want to understand how to evaluate a company's stock this short video will show you how to research a stock using yahoo finance very powerful resource you know most of it is free yahoo finance is a great tool to use for researching and evaluating investments uh, if you're a part of trade money atm you get amazing plays if you're part of cci you get you know amazing insights into the market and awesome plays you get to see what pros are doing you get to see what the community of retail traders are up to and profit from it now the best part about yahoo finance is that most of the tools are free i'm going to show you how to evaluate a company's stock using just four key insights we're going to focus on how to read the stock price earnings per share, analyst perspectives, and their valuation. All right, so check it out. All right, so let's uh, dive in to utilizing Yahoo Finance as an, a powerful DYOR, do your own research, um, you know, investment tool. All right, one of the four insights we're going to look at, right? Stock price. So Yahoo stays up to date on the stock price and you can see it uh, pretty much in real time uh, and uh, so that's one thing you can see right here when you type in the ticker symbol it pulls it up as this is part of my watch list with the uh, you know stocks that um, we're trading in the retail trader account right just to show how anyone even someone working at Burger King can start and uh, just you know with a small amount as possible continue to invest over time and build their wealth all right now you see the price here that's one let's go to the uh earnings per share well some some have company outlook but it, i don't want to really uh use this 100 percent because if you look here it's yahoo finance plus but it's you know if you get that it's there uh, it gives you information and um you got to take everything based on you know what you're trying to do right so says there's negative sentiment which might be so but um we're looking at it as uh this is a stock in an area and a, and a sector where everything else is you know 5x this right and i don't want to make this a video about this stock it's just basically how do you uh, get the information so you could uh, analyze the data for yourself right all right um we're gonna go to financials and financials you have the cash flow and you could you know download the uh that's the income statement you could download that uh cash flow balance uh, sheet everything is available right um so you could literally go over the company take your time and, and i suggest you know doing that taking your time and going through things so you could have just an understanding of it um i did that for years as a young kid uh you know reading financial papers uh, when it didn't mean as much as it means to me now, but it definitely opened me up to understand things, right? Earnings history, EPS trend, EPS revision, all the information is here, right? So you have your earnings per share. Now, the analyst, here's the thing. They give you a strong buy, buy, hold, underperform, and a sell, right? This is actually, while you saw the other thing said negative sentiment, it's actually, you know, um, close to, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a buy, right? Which is moved moving it's 1.9 so yeah a buy right uh you have different people upgrade uh oh outperform hold to buy outperform you know hold and buy so yeah you can see the people that are looking at it, the analyst and they have to do a lot of research so you get to use their brains to get information right and that's cool now um if you look at 
the uh, thing here, right? This is, yeah, this is the daily. Yeah, I think they always go to a daily. Uh, so bullish here, but here's the thing. Let's go to five years and see what's up. Five years, right? I, I want to keep everything within this. Um, yeah, big of a screen. Um, but yeah, I think the information is here. You can kind of see. Let me um, scroll a little bit. Nah, so it, some things are off screen. But basically, just so you get an idea, you can go in and do this yourself. Um, but you can see what it's done. This is three months. And you can see what it's done over five years. It was as high as 30 and it went straight down. So, I, you know, and the, at the end of it all, you could kind of almost see like it bouncing um, pretty much last month, bouncing up. So while the stock is down, it's actually going up right now. Of course, things go up, down. You see how it moves and you can kind of see that. Right. Um, but yeah, that's it. You get to see literally um, the information that you can use to make a, a better understanding of things. You see the valuation for the company. You see what you know analysts are saying about it. Um, you can see the earnings per share. You could you know look at the chart, uh, you know, and pretty much get a, a good idea of what so many other people use. That's another thing too. You're looking at something that so many people look at. So when you start seeing uh, the information, right? where people are like literally it's it shows trends visitors trends two week is up 10 week is up nine months is up um, and then you also actually could see people uh, conversating right that's something um, here um, you know I'm so happy that I invested in the stock it will go up really high you know and I'm not saying to listen to what uh, people are saying per se but <laughs> you know the market moves on emotions right so you see the chart and uh and so i can show you the chart in a smaller frame you see it right five years this is what it did it, you know and so now are we going from you know here where it was 798 to 11 can we go to um 13 14 and from there can we go to uh 18 and from there you know like can we revisit those uh, even the all-time high can we do that right and this is one of the plays that we believe can do it but yeah now you can do your own uh, research using yahoo finance so let's look at how you can add using this app you can also add your brokerage account your whatever account you have you can add it to the app in order to get the information and data to make good decisions, right? And to win. All right, let's check that out. All right, so here we go to adding uh, our brokerage account to Yahoo. Amazing platform, a lot of uh, powerful resources that are free. Uh, let's just say, you know, as a newbie or someone who's working at Burger King, starting out using our, um, you know, minimum wage to wealth, our you know retail trader uh system you know we're building our wealth over time right but here's the thing you go here you click account uh you click here and the link uh, brokerage account give it time all right so you have chase fidelity charles schwab ally bank robin hood vanguard td ameritrade one of my favorites e-trade another one of my favorites Merrill Lynch, Betterment, Acorns, Weeble. And I would just assume that Robinhood or Weeble would be the one that you have. Um, and that's it. We can go and from this point, just bang it out. <laughs> Let's continue to win. And uh, that's it. You know, um, just the thing. You click. It'll take you through a process. You know, I won't go through this on uh, video. But uh, yeah, simple step by step, right? That's it. Put your username, password, and continue forward to link your account. All right, then.